All right, welcome back. All right, so what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing control. Remember, as I mentioned in the lecture, this is really important. I'm not gonna go over exactly how what they mean and everything. We're just gonna implement them. We're just gonna go through them. All right. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure and go see the lecture because this is just the live demo. So you should have seen the videos or you should have known the concept already. So, all right. So let's start. So we're gonna start off with the really basic one. We're gonna start off with weight. So as you guys know, weight is literally just it's basically a timer, and then after the timer ends, the program is gonna be executed. So I'm just gonna start it. I'm. Uh, oh, I don't have the robot connected. My bad. All right, so I'm gonna switch cameras for you guys. Mm. All right, so I'll make it. And then now we wait for five seconds. And then after the five seconds are over, it's gonna go. And then that's it. So from what you guys saw, that's all it really did. You know, that's all this thing it really is. It's just gonna as soon as the five seconds is over, it's gonna go. So you have to be like, okay, what what are we executing? So what this does is just 30% speed for the motors, and then it just defines what motors I'm using, and then it just goes forward for two seconds. That's all it does, nothing complicated, nothing crazy. This is just to demonstrate the concept to you guys and everything. As well, we're gonna be using sensors for this and other stuff, so make sure that like, if you haven't seen that, you don't understand them, to go make sure, especially the sensors, make sure to go and you check that out, all right? So we're gonna start off so wait until so the wait until is like wait until this is true or like so as this is kind of like the same concept so we're gonna use a sensor so it's gonna wait until we gonna use the touch where's the touch no no my bad so right here so when i connect the robot let me get the robot so i'm gonna get the robot i'm gonna connect it all right so what this is going to do since i have to check what port i'm at i'm in port one so when the when it's pressed the my program is going to be executed essentially okay so it's not going to move anything until it's pressed so if i i'm gonna switch cameras for you guys so you guys can see it and get a better visual so i'll press on it and then as soon as i press on it so this is kind of almost the same concept as as you know events Right? Except, you know, there's, as I mentioned before, there's multiple ways for you guys to be able to do one thing, you know? Because it's not just like, oh, you're stuck with that. No, there's multiple ways that you guys could do something. So we're gonna go again. So we're gonna go to control. So repeat 10. So obviously I'm not gonna, I'm not executing on the floor because this roll is just gonna go and hit my wall. But <laughs> we're gonna, I'm gonna lift it up and I'm gonna demonstrate to you guys. Obviously I'm not gonna make it go 10 times, but I'm gonna make it go three times. So I'm gonna change this to three times. So remember, this just repeats the program three times. So I'm gonna lift it up here, then I'm gonna press on it. Then we're gonna keep on going, going, and then the third, and then it's done. You see, it just repeated it three times. Pretty simple, if you ask me, you know? There's not much. There's not much else to it. That's all pretty much this thing does. And then we're gonna go to forever. So, as you guys could assume, forever goes on forever. So, we're gonna go. Let's do it again. Then I'll press on it. It's gonna go on forever and ever and ever. It's just gonna execute the program over and 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 over. There's nothing telling it to stop. So we're gonna remove that, and we're gonna remove this, and now we're gonna do repeat until. So repeat until, if we wanted to, we could use one of the operators. So we could say, let's say, let's say, repeat until, and then we're gonna use repeat until not, this is going to use one of the sensors until not sensors pressed. So what this is going to do is that like so this is going to execute it until until it's until it's not pressed. So if it's not pressed, the, the sensor never pressed. It's not going to do it. But as soon as I press it, it's going to go. So we're going to execute it right now. So I'm going to show you to you guys here. 
So as you guys can see, but um, what's did it not work? <laughs> I don't think I don't think I put it correctly. Huh? So now press. Hmm. This is weird. But all right, let's try it out again. All right, so repeat until not pressed. All right, so we're gonna execute it again. Okay, so right now it's pressing it. So as long as I'm pressing it, it's gonna keep on going. But as soon as I let go, it's gonna stop. You know. So sorry for the beginning logic. It's just you know. So as I mentioned before, even me, I know how to do it, and sometimes you know, even you get so. Uh, now, now, now your program is going to always learn. That's why you have to really think about the logic. Sometimes, you know, you think about it too fast and you're like, you know? So what this is going to do, so you need to, as when it's pressed, it's going to go. But as soon as you let go, it's not going to, you know? So as long as it's, as so repeat until not is pressed. So, so, so that means, so that means as soon as you release it, it's going to stop, you know? So in the beginning, I know I said logic and I said it wrong. I'm sorry for that. Some mistakes happen, but... We're gonna go on this, okay? So that's pretty much all it is for that one. So now we're gonna move on. So as you guys can see, all of these concepts are kind of similar to events, right? So remember how I told you guys that all these concepts revolve around kind of the same, it's just multiple ways that you can do one thing. It's pretty cool. So now we're gonna go to control. So now we're gonna go if. So now we're gonna use, obviously, you know, you could use any other sensor. But just for, you know, time purposes, I'm just going to use a touch sensor. So, is it pressed? And then if it's not pressed, I want it to, I want it to go backwards. You know, obviously I have to define what motors. Where's my motors? And then, A, and I'm going to set what speed I want it to go at. And I'm going to go for 100. And then this is gonna go for five seconds and I want it to go backwards. So in comparison to the other one, this is gonna go backwards. So this is gonna do, if it's pressed, it's gonna execute it like that. If it's not pressed, then it's just gonna go again. All right. So I'm gonna show you guys here in the camera and this one. So the first time it should go backwards, okay? So you guys should be able to see the wheels. It should go backwards. And then I'm going to press on that top. Then it's going to check if it's pressed. Then, oh, sh I'm sorry. <laughs> My port is not working very good. Um, all right, it's just to show you guys. Just for right now. All right, so I'm going to press on it. And then, um, okay. All right, so I'm going to remove it. So let's press. It goes. If it's not pressed, then it's not gonna go. So we're gonna try that out again. It's not. It didn't do anything. So I'll do it again. You see, it didn't move. Why? Because it wasn't pressed. Pretty simple, right? So, so that's all. That's all this really is. You know, if this, then this. So, what we're gonna be doing next? Is I'm gonna be moving. So now we did the if. So now we're gonna go to control. Then we're gonna go to the if then. So. And then we wanted to obviously use the backward one. So I wanted to go. So I'm moving to this ones. And then I wanted to go backwards. And then I wanted to go for three seconds or five seconds. So, and it's going to use the same again if pressed. So, when I run it again, and then I'll be able to show you guys through the screen. Theoretically, it should work, you know? So, let's go. And then, press on that. so it's going backwards right now. You know, for how much? Five seconds. So now, so you guys saw the direction that that went in. 
So now let's try the when the sensor is actually pressed. So now I'm pressing on it. Now it's going in the opposite direction. I guess see how it went much slower. One because the other one has actually like set to 30% speed, while the other one's just to 100. You know by default. So I guess a pretty pretty easy and simple concept. This 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 could come really good use. You know, in many in many scenarios, as well like stop all stacks. Let's suppose. Um, let's start. Let's put it in here. Let's see what happens. You know, you're gonna be like, I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll find out. This is gonna stop it, and then we're gonna put it in repeat. Okay, we're gonna repeat it ten, but te theoretically, it should stop it, correct? So we're about to find out. So. I'm gonna upload it and then I'm gonna touch it. Just going over and I'm gonna let it go. Go backwards. Now I'll press on it. So you just saw it didn't stop the stack because it's there's not really a stack on this one. So you know, it didn't do anything. It won't just so you guys can see that it didn't do anything. So so what this does stops the other stacks, but since it's in this task, it doesn't do anything. And then so we have the stock, the stop all stacks and exit program. So this should theoretically it should stop it all. Correct? We're about to find out. We're about to find out if our logic is actually correct. Alright. So we're gonna click on it. Okay, it's going backwards, but now let me click on it. Then it should go. Then it stops. You see? So it stopped everything. And exit exited the program. So it doesn't matter where it was, it just it was just like alright, bye bye. And then it ended. So that's all pretty much for control. I've already demonstrated some demos for sensors, so you guys could pretty much see how all that's gonna work. As well, I'm gonna go and do just kind of a smaller demo for the sensors. So I hope that you guys that this was useful and that you guys saw how like I use other concepts in this one and just concepts that we've learned before in events to use control to movements to sensors, all of that. You know, so all of this is kind of really useful. I hope you that you guys learned something really cool and that, you, that it was really useful. So thank you for watching and I hope that you guys actually learned something and that it was this demo with them demo was really useful and I know that like throughout like I messed up a little bit but that's what happens at times all right so thank you <laughs>